8 Huge UI Design Trends for 2023 to 2025. The global user interface (UI) market is projected to reach $50 billion by 2027. As businesses start to rely more heavily on design teams, what direction will the UI design industry head in next? And what new trends will disrupt the space? Here are 8 UI trends to look for in 2023 and beyond. 1. Lottie simplifies animation design. Many UI designers have discovered the power of a Lottie animation. A Lottie is a JSON-based animation file format designed to help designers quickly ship on any platform. Lottie files are smaller than GIFs and PNGs. Yet they actually have a higher overall visual quality. Drawer Design has even developed a Lottie marketplace for designers that want to acquire digital assets to incorporate into their projects. Drawer Design Lottie Animation Collection There is an increasing number of Lottie startups as well. For example, Kuala Lumpur-based startup Lottifiles raised $37 million in Series B funding in May 2022. Lottifiles is a JSON-based platform for Lottie animations. Although still a startup, Lottifiles serves some of the largest companies in the world, including Google and Disney. Lottifiles can be used across different platforms without the need for code. The company initially started as a designer and developer community. Steady growth led to an initial release of tools and resources for the community. During the pandemic, the company launched a marketplace and Lottie Files reported a 300% YOY growth in users in 2020. Lottie Files didn't stop there. In early 2021 they acquired Surat-based startup, Icon Scout. The move helps broaden their reach over the space with more assets to offer. 2. Rising demand for UI designers. Design teams were estimated to grow by an average of 21% by the end of 2021. With more jobs opening up, where does the supply come from? The answer for many is, design boot camps. As the tech industry continues to grow, the demand for UI-focused product designers and developers grows with it. And many designers are beginning to see the value of design boot camps vs a traditional design degree. For example, Ironhack is a coding and design bootcamp startup that secured $20 million to expand virtual offerings to students. Ironhack has a solid 95% graduation rate and an 85% placement rate after three months. Ironhack CEO predicts that over 13 million new jobs will be added to the tech industry by 2025 in the US alone. He sees another 20 million jobs being added in the EU too. As the bootcamp trend grows, more designers are aiming to become full-stack, learning both UI and UX. The cheaper alternative to bootcamps is self-paced online learning. And the demand for UI and UX design courses continues to grow too. 3. Google Updates emphasize the importance of usability. In July 2021, Google announced the launch of three new user experience metrics called Core Web Vitals. The three metrics are Largest Contentful Paint, LCP, measures loading performance. First Input Delay, FID, measures interactivity. Cumulative Layout Shift, CLS, measures visual stability. The aesthetics a user interacts with determines their overall user experience. With these Google updates on the way, UX designers need to find ways to balance design with user experience. Maze is using the opportunity to carve out a new niche. The user testing platform has raised $57.5 million to continue scaling their SaaS product to users. Over the past year, Maze's monthly recurring revenue has risen 600%. Annual revenue has eclipsed $1.5 million from 40,000 users. 4. Remote design teams rely on new tools and integrations. Figma is still the infant in the design application world. But don't tell them that. Figma was ranked as the most popular design tool of 2020. After securing $200 million in Series E funding, the focus turned to better integrations and collaboration. This deal led to the launch of their remote work hub. Product design teams can use the hub to access resources and templates in order to streamline workflow. Figma wants to be known as the Google Docs of design work. Adobe is also aiming to improve the remote work experience for designers. The plan for Adobe is to build an invite to edit feature to allow cross-functional integration between products. Until now Photoshop, Illustrator, or Fresco did not integrate. Users were forced to send documents back and forth through email. 
Abode's new feature gives the Creative Cloud a Google Drive feel, similar to what Figma has been able to accomplish. Overall, the creative productivity market is expected to double in size from $7.3 billion in 2019 to over $15 billion by 2026. 5. Designers put renewed focus on accessibility. Diversity and inclusion movements took center stage in 2020. And the tech industry has taken the responsibility to find better ways to address problems that impaired users face. Approaches used to make web pages and mobile apps more accessible include using clear typography, multiple navigation options, and extensive user testing. New York-based startup Stark aims to improve user interfaces for visually impaired customers. Stark does this with in-app integrations with Adobe, Figma, and Sketch. Some Stark features include colorblind generators, colorblind simulators, and contrast checkers. The goal is to improve the user experience with a more aesthetically pleasing interface design. Investors are betting on Stark after the startup raised $1.5 million in 2020. They plan to use the funds to expand product offerings, increase app integrations, and offer more pricing tiers. At a high level, Stark wants to become the Grammarly for accessibility software. Over 60 million people live in the United States with a disability. And lawsuits are increasing against websites that fail to provide equal web accessibility. Evinced is another newly funded startup impacting web accessibility. They offer features to test sites in the browser. These tests identify accessibility issues that designers and developers can address. The plan for Evinced is to speed up accessibility testing. But this funding provides an avenue to approach larger enterprise customers to fill out their customer base. The tools come in the form of AI and browser extensions for accurate testing of website designs. 6. No code continues to skyrocket. Non-designers can become designers with exploding drag and drop design tools. The industry leader in this category is Canva. From logo design to infographics, the drag and drop tools make graphic design relatively accessible to non-designers. 7. Digital asset management gets more advanced. With remote teams becoming the norm, keeping track of how design projects are moving along is more difficult than ever. Businesses and large brands have turned to software to organize their brand identity assets. A key startup disrupting the space is Frontify. The software product provides an all-in-one brand management solution to organize application integrations, collaborate with team members, and arrange media libraries. 8. Dark mode becomes a standard UI feature. Like color gradients, minimalism, and flat design, dark mode is becoming something seen on a growing number of web apps and websites. This survey looked at the popularity of dark mode. The small survey found that 81.7% of people report that they use dark mode. Search trends back up this survey finding, 